Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Uh, today we're going to be making our man can announcement for the month of January. A lot of you guys have been wondering when we're going to post it. I apologize guys, we've been a little bit late this month. Uh, we've been busy with our not show coverage. Uh, not to say we have a problem with SHOT Show, because we don't. But this year, you know, obviously, in case you haven't been able to tell, we've tried to take on a slightly different approach to the way we're handling content. We've got a ton more uh, cool stuff on the way, and we hope you guys are enjoying all of the uh, footage that we've put out and everything, and you like the different approach to the new products for 2017. So let me know what you think of that. Uh, what is Man Cans? A lot of people ask. So Man Cans is a little subscription box that we put together. Uh, this comes from my family to yours, and it's a way that you guys can support the channel. Uh, we offer them in three different tiers, a 30, a 60, and a $100 version, each of them having incrementally uh, better stuff in them. Obviously, the more you spend, you get more stuff. And uh, it's a way that you guys can help support the channel. If you love the content, you love what you're seeing, you want to support us. Uh, you know, we, we've tried in the past doing like donations and doing other things like that. We try to get away from all that. We thought the subscription box is a really great way um, for you guys to be able to support us and for us to be able to give something back to you. So that's kind of the spirit of Man Cans. I'm also announcing, before we get into the beans and bullets here, uh, is that we are actually launching the subscription service for the first time. Up until uh, now, the Man Cans have been kind of a pay-to-play type arrangement. So basically, we make this announcement. You go, hey, sounds like a cool theme and you buy the can and then next month the can comes and a lot of you guys have been asking me hey what about a subscription service I mean it would be really convenient for us to be able to uh, you know put in our information once and then I my man can comes every month and I don't have to worry about uh, going and, and buying it each and every month I can just forget it and it just shows up and hey cool a neat surprise or whatever so we're glad to say that starting in March uh, March 1st uh, when the March can comes up for sale uh, which I'm not going to give the theme just yet. I'll, I'll give the theme for March's can next month when we do the February unboxing. Uh, March 1st, we're going to launch a subscrip uh, subscription service. All right, and basically, uh, you're looking at you're going to get a 10% discount by doing the subscription. So by subscribing, you're essentially saying yes, I want a man can every month. And the subscription service is not only easier for you guys, but it's also easier for us. Because if we have, let's just say, X amount of subscribers, then we know, all right, well, that's X amount of product that we know we need to go ahead and get ordered. Uh, one of the kind of, unfortunately, reoccurring themes of man cans that's been tough is the fact sometimes we're late on stuff. You know, we run the sale on the cans, and then it might take two or three weeks to get all the orders in because I want to give you guys a chance to get your orders in because we all have lives, we all have things going on. Sometimes you don't remember to do it and you wait till the last minute. Well, by the time we get that count and get our product ordered, sometimes on the following month we end up being a week or two late, unfortunately. So in order to try to keep it on time, the subscription service will also help us stay a little bit more organized and be able to make a little bit better choices when it comes to how much product we need to order, what type. I mean, for instance, when you go through the subscription process, You'll enter your shirt size and everything like that. So if the can happens to have a shirt, we'll have your shirt size on file. It's real easy. I can go through and go, all right, I need X amount of whatever size, and then there you go. So uh, expect that coming March 1st. We're very excited about the subscription. It's going to make life so much easier for you guys and for us, and we definitely appreciate the support. And you get a 10% discount by subscribing, which is great. Also, the shipping on the subscriptions cans, we're going to go with a flat shipping rate. Uh, the flat shipping rate will save a lot of you guys some money for sure. So that's something we're also trying to, uh, to acknowledge. All right, so the unboxing, what we basically do is um, we unbox uh, the current can. This is the can that is about to go out, the January in the trenches can. At this point in the video, we mentioned that the uh, following month, February's theme is Love Your Gun. Uh, we've already gotten several orders in. A lot of you guys uh, have, have gotten your, you know, Love Your Gun uh, cans, but we don't have many of them left. If you want one, you might want to go over to the site and get them right now. Uh, we're going to do really awesome stuff in that can. There's a ladies version of the can. February is one of the primary months that we do a ladies specific can in addition to a man specific can. So you've got the ladies version and the men's version that's in the $30 uh, category, and then you got a 60 and a 100. And the items that are going to be in that can are going to be stuff that's very, very useful and very practical. Uh, we're not putting a knife in that particular can. That's one thing that a lot of folks were asking if we were going to do knives in every can. Not every uh, individual theme 
uh, will require a knife, but I would say that on average, about 75% of the cans we're sending out are going to have a custom knife in it, just so you guys know, in the $100 uh, can. So at this point in the video, we're gonna box, uh, unbox, I should say, the uh, January can, which was in the trenches. Uh, this can was inspired by World War I. Uh, this particular can was one that you guys requested. We uh, sent out uh, kind of a question and answer and a little bit of a, a form out for you guys to, to check out. And an overwhelming amount of people are like, hey, we think it'd be cool to do a World War I can. Well, guess what? We did. And uh, you guys got what you wanted. We, you know, we asked and uh, you, you asked and we listened basically. All right. So uh, I'm trying to make this quick, guys. It's a lot of information to put out. We literally have a ton of videos on the way. I mean, we just put out the Coltac uh, Vulcan uh, suppressor uh, pouch video this morning. We got this video coming out right now in the middle of the day. And then later on this evening, we're putting out the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 video. So guys, so much content on the way. And that content is uh, out there from the support of people that support the Man Cam Project. It really helps us out a lot, tremendously. All right, so this is the point of the video. If you want to be surprised by your January can, do not watch this part of the video because we are unboxing the actual can and everything that's in it right now. Uh, so the regular can, $30 tier. All right, each month, you guys know, we do a, uh, we do a fight soap. All right, the guys at Combat Hygiene, Bon over there is such a great dude. It's a nice scent, you know, and the soaps are great. We put them in every single can, and no matter what tier you get, you always get a fight soap because it's in the... It, any of the items that are in the lowest tier automatically go into all the upper tiers as well. I'll kind of explain that as I go. So you got a fight soap, you got a patch. That's, you know, very early tank there. I thought that was kind of cool, so we did a little tank patch. A um, lot of folks love uh, the custom patches. We put those in every can every single month, so you're always going to get a soap and a patch. All right. Uh, there's going to be, of course, an assortment of stickers, which I don't have to show you at this very moment, unfortunately, but you'll get them. All right, we did a 3D plane model. All right, you know, uh, airplanes were kind of one of those things that were sort of a very new concept. Uh, I mean, airplanes have been around, but the, the whole air superiority thing, or let's just say, uh, you know, being able to get things in the air was pretty important in World War I. I mean, they used the hot air balloons to observe troop movements in the field. Planes played a pretty important role. I mean, tanks and planes. I mean, it was really the first... Uh, major war that had like tanks and everything like that. So it was really, it's just really strange time in history. So I really wanted to do the, uh, the little plane model. Uh, you'll see a shot of that here. Really cool. You know, we did the, uh, for Vietnam month last year, we did the, the Huey helicopter and people loved it. So we thought we'd do a, uh, a little plane there for people to kind of yeah, have something to do, something to put together. All right, so that's in the $30 can. All right, World War I, you got trench foot, you're in the trenches. What would, you, what would you need to have if you were in the trenches? Socks, right? So we did a really, really nice pair of socks. These are Fox Rivers. Um, very, very high quality socks. They are just wonderful, okay? And uh, th this is kind of an expensive pair of socks. Uh, the interesting thing about, um, about the socks, you know, we, we ran a lot of products around December where we were selling off a few of the just extra items we had. We had a ton of people buying those uh, American flag socks that we made. And people were like, man, do more socks, do more socks. So we thought we'd put a really nice pair of socks in there for those of you that, uh, you know, if you're in the trenches, you don't want to get a, you know, trench foot and all that and have your foot fall off. You got to keep your feet dry and warm, right, when you're in the trenches. So we thought that would be uh, a fun addition. All right, we did a challenge coin. This is a custom challenge coin. Uh, Bastion does, the, does these for us. Um, he does an excellent job. And it's got the dates of World War I. Got the plane on there. It says, lest we forget. Uh, it's a, just an important little homage to World War I. Uh, a lot of guys love coins. A lot of guys love this kind of stuff. And I do too. I love challenge coins. They're fun to collect. And uh, each one is custom. And remember, the items that we put in these cans every single month are completely custom and will never be made again. Uh, now, the socks, obviously. You can go to Gander Mountain and buy socks. I get that. But... Uh, usually the soap, the patch, if we do a, a, a coin or something like that, a lot of this stuff is kind of one-off and, and custom type stuff. So um, that's the $30 can. A lot of cool stuff there. You know, you got the, the stickers as well, which I don't have here to show you. So if you did the man up, all right, you get all of this stuff, but then you also get, you get your own Maxim. 
All right, so this is something I saw and I thought it would just be the, uh, the coolest little thing. And the, the intention of this and what, where I was kind of going with this is I wanted like a desktop prop that somebody could like use as maybe a paperweight or maybe they want to just have it on their desk. And if somebody comes in and says, hey, what's that? You know, it, it's, it's a talking piece. You know, it could go on your coffee table or something like that um, and everything like that. So that's really what I was going for with this. Now, the weird thing is, is it is intended to be like a little lighter or whatever, but that's not, actually when I ordered these, I didn't even really think like, oh, it's a lighter. I was mainly going for the small figurine aspect of it. I mean, you got the little belt in there. The little sight picks up and moves. You got your little bullet deflector right here. You got your elevation adjustment. You got your spade grip there. So it's 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 a pretty cool little model of a Maxim, and I thought that would be a, a really fun thing to include in the uh, in the in the Man Up can in the sixty dollar can. And these things are just killer. It's a great conversation piece, and I thought that'd be something fun to put in there for World War One. All right, so Mega Man Up. All right, if you bought the Mega Man Up, you get all of these items, and you get this other item here I'm going to show you in a moment here. So Mega Man Up. All right, so if you're in the trenches and you're, you're doing your thing and you're, uh, I don't know, worried that something's going to happen and somebody's about to come try to kill you or whatever, you got to have a trench knife, right? Um, we went through a ton of different designs uh, with this trench knife trying to come up with what we thought would be really cool. And we went back and forth and back and forth and uh, we were able to get this knife produced. It's got the IRET Veteran logo on it. It's double-sided. It's got a nice point on it. I mean, you got your kind of, I guess, brass knuckles built into it. You got your little pommel here for like smashing stuff, which is kind of neat. And uh, that's what we were going for. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions from people about this knife and people wanting to know, was well, it legal in my state? Can I have it in certain places? I've called all over the place and I've talked to numerous places. I mean, I've, I've called different people in California and, and some of these questionable states that people were asking about, oh, well, we can't have it. And most of the, the issues that I've ran into, what people say is you just can't carry it on your person. But just owning the knife and having it in your house on display or just ha being in possession of the knife. So what, you can't own a kitchen knife that has like a certain length or something like that? So I haven't really been able to find any indication that these are unlawful or, you know, any kind of an issue to ship anywhere. Um, so anyway, for, for what it's worth, there it is. I think the knife is awesome. Every single person I've showed this to, they love it. It's killer. It's got a good look to it. It's got G10 handles, just a great construction to it. All, you know, full tang construction, all metal construction, which is great on the handle. Nice and rigid. I mean, you can just you know, really punch things with it. It's really killer. Um, that's pretty much the January can. Now, we did have some other giveaways, which I thought was kind of neat. We had a, uh, a viewer of ours. I'm not going to say who he is because he doesn't want to be mentioned in the video. But we had a viewer send us a bunch of wheat pennies that are actually World War I era wheat pennies. Uh, he sent us probably two or three hundred of them. So many of you guys are going to get these awesome World War I era wheat pennies. They've got original World War I era dates on them. And interesting thing about it, you look at a, at a wheat penny and you think, okay, a penny, who gives a crap about that? Well, for one, it's neat because you think, I mean, this penny could be, have been in the pocket of somebody that was out there. You know what I mean? So you don't know where this penny's been. And then two, this penny is worth like 75 times what it was worth when it was made. So that's kind of neat. So how can a penny, it, it's still a penny, but yet it's worth like 75 cents to a dollar a piece, which is kind of neat. So some of you guys are going to get wheat pennies uh, in your man cans. I think that's awesome. Uh, an actual, like, real era-specific item that very well could have been in some Doughboy's pocket. So I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully, um, you know, hopefully we, we're kind of straight to the point on this um, when it comes to how we, we handle man cans. Um, the support is greatly appreciated, and we really, really do legitimately try to give you guys exactly what you want in these cans. We want you guys to be happy with them. Uh, so we're always looking for comments, suggestions, constructive criticism, anything that we can do to expedite this process for you, make you happy. That's what we want to do. Uh, we're definitely not out to get anybody. We want you guys to be happy because y'all are fans. You love the channel. You're buying the can because you want to help the channel. And that's, that's uh, admirable, and we appreciate that. However, 
there is a, uh, I guess, commercial aspect to it in a degree that, you know, if you can give somebody money, you want to get something cool in return. So we want to make sure that you guys are getting something that you love. Uh, this was a theme that you guys suggested, so we're going with your suggestions. And a lot of these items are actually items that you suggested as well. So we're taking your comments to heart and we're giving you guys exactly what you want. Um, make sure you go snatch up your love, uh, love Your Gun can. They're not going to be available very long. And then be looking out for the subscription service to launch on the 1st. Also, this is very important. Make sure you sign up for our email list. That is extremely important. Go on the website on IraqVeteran8888.com. Uh, 88, Go on the website and there's an area where you can sign up for our email list. The email list on the first of each month will syndicate a little email out that says, hey, uh, the cans are for sale, and that way you never miss a can. If you are doing pay to play and you're not going to subscribe, but you want to buy a can each month, then that's great. You can still do that if you want, but the subscription service will also be available. So each month's can will generally go for sale uh, on the first of each month. So just so you know, that, that way we try to give you guys some extra time. And some of the people that are wanting to get in uh, that month's can, it gives a couple of extra weeks for us to get some sales in and give people a little bit more time to buy the can they, that they want. So thank you so much for watching, guys. We have so much more footage on the way. I mean, literally later on today, m 2.0 uh, video coming up. Pretty in-depth look at it. Thank you so much for uh, watching today's video. We appreciate the support. We'll catch you next time.